Yes, it's the moment of truth. What are we gonna do? We're actually gonna push this car into the car bay. So I got Johan here to help me shoot. And yes, I'm gonna be also pushing this car. So let's do it. We're gonna push it straight into the car wash bay. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Don't need to start now. Let go the brake. Yeah. All the way. So one good thing we know the the tires and the wheels are not stuck. So for a small car, it's very heavy. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. But so this is uh, turn on. Got light or not? Turn on some lights. Okay, never mind. So. First thing we gotta do, make, make sure all the windows are up. Yeah. We're gonna get the air gun, spray all this away, get rid of whatever rats and chicha or whatever. Great. So yeah, that's my exercise for the day done. This is gonna be interesting. See how they get this off. Okay. Let the uh, cleansing begin. So the car cannot start, it has not started in 4 years. As you can see, there is a lot to be done. I, I would reckon this is, this is empty. No, no, it's not. It's not empty. Great. Right. One more side. I'm still 50-50 about how this is going to turn out. I'm really hoping for the best, but as they say in that song, hoping for the best but expecting the worst. Are you going to drop the bomb or not? I think I just dropped the bomb already. Yeah, straight. But you know, by and large, this car is it's all in one piece. This is good. And you saw the interior, it's still quite nice. A bit of mold here and there, cobwebs here and there, a bit dirty, but hey. It's, it's all good, the door still closed very well. Solid car. Okay, that's locked. It's either locked or it's jammed or it's locked. But this is really bad. It's so dirty, I can't even see the main proton anymore. And uh, that's the original color right there. So what the heck is this? It's just a lot of dirt. I mean like... Baked in, baked in dirt. Right, so air gun's done. It's time to get this car wet. It's four years of muck on this car. So the before after is gonna be very, very interesting. Look at that. You know, it's like a, it's like a blue sky with uh, clouds, rain clouds rolling in. And you just see a little bit of blue sky at the back. Unbelievable. Now the good news is, thanks to some of the comments earlier uh, on the first video, apparently uh, sa savvy parts are still quite easy to find, which is going to be great. Awesome. So you guys, are you are you ready for the are you ready for the <laughs> project? <laughs> that might be too strong. 
too powerful. Okay. Turn down a bit. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. There's a lot of muck on this car. <laughs> okay, look at that. That's the glass. Okay, that's my name. Inside the white. Oh, coming off and there's the original color right there let's see what this is the light go closer The logo. Okay folks, it's gonna take a lot longer and a lot more water, but I'm very very confident that the guys here are gonna be able to do it because you can see for yourself this is just a lot of gunk and uh, it just needed a lot of uh, high pressure water to bring it out. The color is still good and even the uh, the lenses, these need to be polished of course because they're plastic and Ken's gonna be able to do that I'm sure. But look at the orange has come back out compared to that, it's just so dirty. And uh, yeah, that's W for Weevil, my latest Weevil. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
So that's the uh, pressurized soap. So the soap will actually eat into the dirt. And hopefully with just the uh, soapy water, this will be able to come out, okay? W for Weevil. <laughs> so my little Frenchy cow, with the, I'm naming it the little baguette, is going to be a very beautiful again. I am so happy that I've managed to get the proton steady. This is a French Malaysian cow. Yes. Or rather Malaysian French, yeah. So you see just a little bit of elbow grease. And their color is starting to come out. Oh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? I'm talking, I'm talking to the car, by the way. The car is enjoying this bath. After how long? Four years waiting for a bath. So it's just caked in, baked in dirt. So you can see, this is just the first layer there's gonna be. How many layers, Ken, do you reckon? How many times are you gonna have to wash this car? Twice? Three times? <laughs> three times, I think. At least three times, right? At least. At least three times. But it's gonna be done here by my bro. Awesome. I just heard one of these guys say, holy shit, that's how dirty this car is. Is this the dirtiest car you have ever, ever washed? I would say so, yes. Huh, bro? Yes. This is the dirtiest car you ever washed, right? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Today is your workout day. <laughs> no problem, no problem. I mean, look at that. It was wet just now, and now it's all dry again because it's so dirty. The, the, the water just dries up straight away. It's just the front. We haven't even touched the back yet, but now look at the contrast of how it looks used to look like versus how it's going to be. Sorry, bro. Look at that. So yeah, the paint is still okay. Nice, it's still gleaming. I was expecting a lot worse actually, but it still looks okay. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> this is starting to look more like a car. This is really, really nice. Look at that. Ah. Look, you can see the dashboard and the steering wheel and the seats. Awesome. Can you believe this was the car that was sitting outside there just now? Look at that. I don't believe it's the same car. You you went and changed car, right? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Look at that. Very nice. I, I couldn't even tell if the rear lights were broken or cracked just now because it was so dirty. But look at that now. You can see right through the whole car. Amazing. You couldn't even do that just now. That cover is still there. Oh, that's great. Sometimes all these small, small bits are always missing, yeah? Now you look at all that dirt. That's all from the car just now. I can finally tell that the roof is blue. <laughs> so good, the rubbers are all still okay. Nice, not broken, not cracked. Bloody excellent. I think they swapped cars when I wasn't looking. 
amazing. Ken's gonna try and polish up the uh, the plastic there. Oh, he hasn't done this yet. Okay. But that was just from a jet spray which I did myself just now. Look at that. Look at the car coming back to life. Getting pretty again. Amazing. Second round with the pressurized soap. Thing. The rim and tire is going to get nicely washed. So yes, the car is looking beautiful. The paint is still good. I was worried that it was badly patinaed, but it's not. It was just dirt. So maybe the dirt was actually protecting the paint. Who knows? But uh, it's going to be a long journey. This is just trying to get the car looking good. And also show the level of uh, car washing that they can do here. I mean, I don't think anybody out there owns a car that was as dirty as this. And look at how nice it has come out. So, so happy. I can see the inside now from all the dirt from the glass just now. Look at that. So, yeah, folks. It's going to be a long journey. I've already ordered another tire. That's a space saver, as you can see. But uh, I like the way the savvy sits. If you see, if you look at it from this side, from the back, look at the way it sits. It looks, it's, it sits very well. I like it. And uh, yeah, so you have been witness to the first day, first ownership, first day of ownership for this beautiful Proton Savvy, which I've always liked. And it's a five-speed manual 1.2. Let's hope, fingers crossed, she turns out nice. Stay tuned, lots more to come. Of course, another journey has just begun and it's gonna be a good one. Okay, happy anniversary Proton. This is my tribute to you after the saga. Take care, y'all. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Lots more to come from the saga of the savvy. How's that? Bye-bye. <laughs>